Hey guys, in this video, we'll be discussing about the variable frequency control of multiple synchronous motor. Okay, so in this, basically, what we are going to understand is that we have seen you have seen the diagram. Okay, this diagram is basically di di this drive operating in what true synchronous mode. This is the drive which is operating in true synchronous mode so now now there are two types of what modes of variable frequency control bfc variable frequency control we have two types one is the true synchronous mode which we are seeing over here in this diagram figure 7.9 another one is the self controlled or we can call it as self synchronous mode self synchronous mode that we'll be discussing in the upcoming videos okay so in this video basically we are going to discuss the drive which is operating in true synchronous mode which comes under the variable frequency control of multiple synchronous motors so here you can see there are multiple synchronous motor which we are going to control how we are going to control the procedure of this block diagram we are going to analyze okay so starting with here you can see f star is there now what is f star f star is nothing but the frequency command so each and every point you have to note it down okay so this is the frequency command this frequency command f star is passed on to the delay circuit and it reaches what the vsi what is vsi it is nothing but voltage source inverter this we have already discussed okay voltage source inverter in detail this is vsi now this frequency command f star is passed on to the vsi through what delay circuit now why we are using this delay circuit delay circuit purpose is basically so that this rotor speed rotor speed of the motor is able to track is able to track the changes in frequency so whatever the change is there in the frequency this rotor speed will be able to track so that's why delay circuit is being used okay so the first point is nothing but this frequency command is passed on to vsi through delay circuit the purpose of delay circuit is nothing but so that this delay circuit so that rotor speed is able to track the changes in frequency this is the first point Coming to the second point, here you can see flux control block is there, right? Now, this flux control block, what does it do? It changes the stator voltage. Changes stator voltage. Okay. With frequency, it will change with F. So, this flux control block will change the stator voltage with, with frequency. Why it is changing? No, it has two things okay so let me just write it over here now flex candle block will change the state or voltage with with respect to the frequency in order to maintain two things constant flux constant flux below rated speed and constant terminal voltage above rated speed now this is what we have to understand that means flux control block is used here in order to change the stator voltage with frequency so that 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 can maintain to maintain what constant flux below rated speed so below rated speed we can maintain what constant flux so this is the rated speed below that constant flux and above that will be what constant terminal voltage above rated speed in order to maintain that that's why we are using what flux control block okay now next point is that this is basically used to control what multiple synchronous reluctance or permanent magnet motors here you can see as i said before we are using many multiple 
मल्टीपल सिंकरानस रिलेक्टेंस और परमानेंट मैग्नेस पी एम मोटर्स परमानेंट मैग्नेट मोटर्स इन ऑर्डर फॉर दैट कॉमनली इट इज कॉमनली यूज दिस वेरिएबल फ्रीक्वेंसी कंट्रोल ऑफ मल्टीपल सिंकरानस मे बी रिलेक्टेंस और परमानेंट मैग्नेट मोटर्स okay no application we can talk about some few application that is nothing but this drive can be used in fiber spinning textile and paper mills so this drives can be used over there the main purpose why we are using over there where accurate speed tracking between motors is required we need accurate speed tracking in all these cases even in paper mills we need accurate speed tracking between the motors many motors will be used right so in mills and or many motors will be those so accurate speed tracking between the motors is required in this application in this all these industries we require this kind of drives so there we can use this kind of control okay so this is the main thing about variable frequency control 